Hey there, Virgo. Welcome to your reading for the week of uh, February 26th. This week, we are going to jump right in here. You have this hold this uh, hold your vision card, and you have this card that says your dreams need a practical plan. So I do feel that having a vision is going to be important for you, Virgo, obviously. Uh, this has come up for you before, and so I think you just need to have an idea on a direction that you're moving in. You do have the tower, but it wanted to come up in reverse there. We'll talk about that in a minute. Um, but I feel like you need to have a vision. E even the chariot right here, really good card, but the chariot is about kind of having at least some sort of direction in your life or, you know, moving in a direction. And so I feel that for a lot of you, whatever you're working towards, love, money, spirituality, health, doesn't really matter. I think that, you know, kind of like having a practical plan is what it's all about. We're in, like, we're in this time of Taurus. We have Uranus and Taurus. We still have Jupiter and Taurus until, you know, pretty much the middle of the year. And you have this card right here uh, that is full moon in Taurus. So, you know, with all this Taurian energy, which is earth energy, uh, I would say that kind of, you know, Taurus is very practical down to earth. They have a, they, you know, Taurus always has like some sort of practical plan or wants a practical plan. So it would be a great time for you to create that. Uh, you have the four of cups, the tower and the chariot. The ch uh, chariot, of course, is like a victory. Um, you have the tower, which could represent some sort of tower moment. It is coming up in your past position. So, of course, you could have experienced a tower. Uh, I really believe that for you, Virgo, it is a time of reinvention. So you are in this time where you are reinventing yourself. And um, the tower is a reinvention for sure. Sorry, I didn't want to do that, not with that card, but the tower can represent a reinvention. I mean, it's like you are, the whole point of the tower is that these people have been ignoring reality and they're being brought back down to reality. So they're seeing the world for how it actually is. And, you know, uh, on a personal level, it could just say that you're reinventing yourself. Uh, the other thing is, is that you have the judgment card here. Uh, whenever I have a reading with tower and judgment, to me, that just represents, um, you know, major wake up call, a major revelation in your life. Uh, to me, the tower and the judgment card is the most powerful combination that you can get in the ta in the tarot because it's a big light bulb moment <laughs> that you are having in your life. So I kind of feel you're having a little bit of a light bulb moment this week. You have the four cups. Four cups can be disappointments, but I get something here about you leaving your disappointments behind or uh, moving on from disappointments. You have this elephant card here. And in this deck, the Wild Unknown Animal Oracle, the elephant is the destroyer of of obstacles, kind of overcoming challenges or difficulties, things that you've been through. Again, you have the chariot and the chariot is victory. Some of you could just be moving, by the way, the tower. Sometimes I just feel the tower is just a move, you moving in, in a new direction or uh, you deciding to move to somewhere new or somewhere different. So let's see where this is going for you here, Virgo. Uh, with the four of cups, you have the eight of pentacles here. Eight of Pentacles is work hard, you know, working hard, mastering a craft, and I feel that you could be mastering a craft. He is very close to accomplishing his goal. He only has one more pentacle to work on right here. You can see it right behind him. So it says that he is working diligently. Uh, I always say that Eight of Pentacles to me is material success on the horizon because he is about to receive a reward for completing his work. Again, he only has one more pentacle to go here and he will be complete. And so there is something about that. I, I never read that. You know, I never read the Eight of Pentacles that way, but it is popping into my head that you're like this this far away. With the Tower, you have the Ace of Wands. You have definitely a time where you have to move towards your inspirations. The Ace of Wands, I always say, is sometimes just that one thing we need to be successful. It's like that spark of hope or that spark of inspiration. And this definitely can be a Tower moment. I'm going to show you on the big version here, uh, just because it's easier to see, but there's a castle that's crumbling right here above my finger. And the Ace of Wands kind of represents out with the old, in with the new. And so th it definitely could be a tower moment where you have released one thing, you're releasing one thing and you're just having something new and you're experiencing a rebirth. All your readings for, you know, forever <laughs> have been about a rebirth or, you know, kind of uh, turning into a butterfly, you know, some sort of transformation, right? With the Chariot, you have the Six of Wands. So a big success or a big victory uh, this week, I kind of feel like you're getting an answer. I feel that's the type of victory that you're going to be having. Like if you've been looking for an answer on your next steps that you should take in your life or, um, you know, what your next goal should be or the next person you should be with. It's like you're getting clarity or an answer. Ace of Wands twice. You have the eight, you end with the Ace of Swords. You have the Judgment card. These are all cards of receiving an answer or inspiration. And so it's pretty clear to me that, you know, what you're finding is your next step or you know, kind of like the next thing that you're going to do, if that makes sense. 
Uh, next, you have this eagle card and this elephant. You know, we say eagle eyes, right? So I feel for a lot of you, there is definitely something here about your vision and seeing something uh, coming in, like something off on the horizon. So uh, some of you, maybe you've already been through a period where you've done a lot of work and it's like you're moving on to the next thing that you're gonna be working on. And it's like off in the distance, uh, that doesn't mean that you're not going to enjoy the journey, of course. I think that we should have, you know, long-term goals that we work on for a very long time. And, uh, you know, but we enjoy, you know, these are things that we enjoy working on, that we enjoy creating. So, you know, I feel, I do feel, get that feeling off of this ego where you could just be moving on to a new stage in your life. The elephant in this deck is very lucky in this deck. So there could be a lot of luck coming in for you, but it's also the destroyer of obstacles in this deck. So you could be overcoming some challenges or difficulties uh, that you've been through. Again, you have the Ace of Wands again, the uh, Strength card and the Knight of Pentacles. Going this way, Ace of Wands down to the Ace of Swords. The Ace of Wands, again, is that spark of inspiration that kind of motivates you to start working on something new. Three of Wands says, what are you waiting for? And then the Ace of Swords is pretty much a guaranteed victory. It's showing up in this area of the reading, uh, which is the area of the good stuff. This last row is gonna represent the good stuff. So it looks to me like you could be accomplishing something uh, pretty significant here. You have the strength card. I feel you've been very patient, wait, you know, waiting for something to happen. I, I, I do get that feeling of waiting for an answer. Like I said, it, um, you know, it seems to me like you are getting this an answer or clarity as to what your next step should be. I know that sounds lame, but <laughs> you know, that's. It seems to me that's what this reading is about. It's like you're getting an answer from the universe, and the universe is saying, move in this direction or uh, do this new thing with your life. And I feel that is ultimately what is going to lead to success this week. You have the Knight of Pentacles. Again, you do go from Knight of Pentacles to the Three of Wands up to the Nine of Wands here. The Knight of Pentacles is no movement. He is being too cautious. He's not making any moves in any direction. And he kind of needs to take a leap of faith. Three of Wands, same thing. Three of Wands, he's looking out onto onto this harbor where these three boats and you know a lot of people read this as your ships coming in but the ships are already in they're actually the ships are pointing out of the harbor so the three of wands really represents an opportunity for you to get on those boats and for you to go on an adventure the nine of wands says you've gone on adventures before and they haven't worked out well for you <laughs> and uh, i kind of feel this is saying, well, that's probably true, but it's time to take a risk again. It's time to go on an adventure again. At the very least, you get a story. I think so many people hold themselves back from uh, gaining, getting stories in life, which is even better. Like even if something doesn't work out or you fail, yet now you have a story <laughs> and stories are very valuable. With the Ace of Wands, you have the Emperor. So the Emperor can represent an Emperor coming in for you. I don't really see this as a love reading. That doesn't mean you don't have love or that there isn't love in your life. I just feel this reading is more big picture. And I feel it's saying it's time to take control of something that is a new beginning. I This is gonna sound weird maybe, but I almost feel like you're getting a chance to do something where, that maybe that you've tried before and that you didn't see through to the end. Sometimes I feel with the Ace of Wands that it's a spark that we didn't capture. But you know what's super interesting is this elephant right here has this fire that it's holding on to. <laughs> and I kind of have that feeling in this reading. I hope that makes sense where it, sometimes I think we start something and then it, the flame dies out. And I'm not even talking about love here. I'm talking about like a project, an idea. You get excited about it, then it doesn't really go anywhere. Uh, this reading is also kind of saying to me that you're starting something where the fire, you know, the fire burns, where you're building a fire, where you're actually building momentum in towards whatever it is that you're trying to accomplish. With the strength card, you have the four of cups. The four cups can represent past disappointments, but really the four cups says to me that you have all the ingredients necessary to be very successful right now. Uh, imagine you are trying to manifest a cake that's what he's maybe trying to do, right? He has the flour, the sugar, the eggs. That's what he's manifested. But he's disappointed because he feels like he didn't manifest the cake. Really, he just needs to put it all together, everything he's manifested so far, and pop it into the oven. So I feel you have the ingredients necessary to bake your cake of life, whatever that is for you. But it's time to mix it all together. So you have the ingredients. You just need to pop it into the oven. With the Knight of Pentacles, you have the Eight of Swords. Eight of Swords is about needing to realize that you are much more free than you realize. You are not stuck. She is surrounded by these swords, but there are no swords in front of her. She could easily lean up against those swords. She could cut her hands free and she would be able to set herself free. So it's time to set yourself free and realize that you are not stuck is what that's saying to me. 
next you have this playfulness card and this purity card. You know, it's interesting, a lot of people have this playfulness energy in their readings. I feel the universe is saying that we are all taking things maybe too seriously in life. And that doesn't mean life isn't serious or anything like that, but it does mean that maybe we need to be a little bit more playful or things aren't as serious as they seem in our life. And being more playful will be the thing that lightens the energy up enough for us to actually be successful. Uh, you have that purity card as well, and you also start with the judgment card. Judgment doesn't really represent purity, but it kind of does because these people are rising up out of coffins. The coffin represents their old life. The outside of the coffin is their new life. Uh, when you go through a death moment or a death period, you are clarifying the energy. You are, or you are purifying as well. So this would represent letting go of the past and purifying the energy by having a rebirth and, and releasing the past. So it does represent purity. And I feel a lot of you could be becoming the unicorn. You could be becoming something that is special or something that stands out or something that is unique. It's almost as if this part of the reading is saying that you need to embrace that what makes you unique. And I feel you could be having a hard time because maybe there's nothing in your life to compare yourself to which like it, it, that is hard, <laughs> but also good. When there's no one like you, that is kind of a good thing. It's hard being unique, right? It's hard being your own person, but at the same time, that could just be the thing that makes you stand out. And that's what I feel you need to do here. You have the three of wands. Three of wands, a card of expansion and growth. Three of wands is my card that says, what are you waiting for? He's looking out at that water in front of him and there are those boats on the water I also feel at this time that the three of wands kind of represents the energy that we're all in. He That water is golden in color. In the traditional story of the three of wands, he's looking out at that water, it's golden in color. He thinks he's looking at the desert, but really he's looking at water and he sees those ships. So he is looking at something where he thinks there is no opportunity, but when he looks closer, there's a big opportunity. There are three boats that he could get on any one of them, and he, he could go on an adventure. And that's what I feel is going on here for you, Virgo, is that there is the opportunity for adventure. There's the opportunity for you to grow, expand, whatever. You have the death card. I feel like something needs to die in your life. I feel something needs to be released. The thing about the death card is that the king is dead right here. And the king being dead on the death card just represents the fact that even kings die. It says that nothing is immune to death and it kind of represents the death of establishment. We have Pluto and Aquarius right now. It's gonna retrograde one more time back into Capricorn and then move into Aquarius in November. Pluto, I'm, I'm telling you right now, that whole, that cusp right there, Capricorn to Aquarius is the death of establishment. So we, all of us on a collective level, and you being a Virgo, you're an earth sign, so it's gonna affect you more. We are all experiencing something that has been established in our lives for a long time, could be going through a transformation. That does not mean that it's completely dying and we're never gonna do it again or whatever. But you know, for a lot of us, we could be uh, reinventing ourselves in work or whatever provides us with stability. Uh, we, could, we could be completely quitting a job. I mean, it's gonna be different for all of you, but um, you know, there's probably some sort of death here. With the Judgment card, you have the Eight of Cups. Like I said, I feel, I get this feeling from your reading that this is a, com that for some of you, you are completely walking away from a certain something in your life, a certain aspect of your life, or, you know, it could be a certain person, but I really feel it's the way that you do things or, you know, it's, it's some aspect. I feel like you, I feel like using the word aspect for whatever reason. With the three of wands, you have the death card. This is the point of no return is what I feel like saying. It's almost as if, if you are making a change that once you make that change, that's it. You know, there, there will be no returning. There is no turning back now is what I feel like saying as well. So you could be making a pretty significant change where once you make the decision, that's it. And maybe that's why some of you are hesitating. Again, feels like a major transformation to me. The whole entire reading, I mean, Tower, uh, Judgment, Together is a major revelation, a major new understanding that you could be gaining in life. And so I feel you are you know, making a significant change here. With the Death card, you have the uh, Star, which is amazing. We want the Star after the Tower because the Star represents healing from a Tower moment. So a lot of you, I feel, have been going through an extended period of healing 
maybe the past few years, you've been dealing with issues or challenges that you've had to heal from. And having the star in your reading tells me that you are finally healed. Also, the star is about having a North Star. We talked in the beginning of the reading about having some sort of big vision. Again, having a North Star, having a guiding light in your life. And that's clearly going to be very important for you, Virgo. Having one thing to aim at and work towards is going to lead to more success for you. Uh, next, you have the slow card. It says making slow progress, but you're getting there. I feel like you have been making slow progress. Again, ver that Taurus energy, uh, even though you're not a Taurus, doesn't matter. You're an earth sign <laughs> and it's going to affect you on a deeper level. So you are probably dealing with those slow, steady steps. You have this unlocking card. It says what was locked can now be open. You have opened the, the floodgates of abundance without limitation. Damn. I like that. So you could be experiencing, you know, this change could be leading to a flood of abundance in your life. You have the nine of wands. I do feel like saying you have to try again. Remember what I said? The ace of wands to me is saying that you've experienced a spark before, an idea that fizzled out, that never got anywhere. You're getting a new spark, but you're holding on to the flame like that elephant. And now it's time to put the work in. It's time to not give up. Nine of Wands is also my card of throwing stuff at the wall and seeing what sticks. So I feel it's a great time for you to experiment, try new things, you know, do things differently, whatever the case may be. You have the Nine of Cups. Nine of Cups is a card of wish fulfillment and also just fulfillment and abundance. It's about bathing in the energy of something you want. So he is perfectly matching everything that he wants and desires in his life. And because of that, he gets it. So it would be an amazing time for you to match energy. You have the Ace of Swords. Ace of Swords, of course, can be a victory. So I do feel that there could be a big victory coming in for you with the Ace of Swords. But let's see. With the Nine of Wands, you have the Ace of Pentacles. Bunch of Aces, which is amazing. Two Aces alone, to me, is a big yes to anything that I haven't answered. But the Ace of Pentacles is something like a new beginning that you want to nurture into existence. I always say with the Ace of Pentacles that it's something that we need to like water, fertilize, we need to feed it, we need to t really take care of it. And again, this really matches up with the Taurus energy. So you are clearly being affected by the Taurian energy in the astrology right now, Virgo. And I would I would take advantage of it is what I'm trying to say here. Uh, you know, again, if you feel like starting something new, I would start it and treat it like a baby, whatever it is, like new project, new business and really nurture it. With the Nine of Cups, you have the King of Wands. King of Wands about being bold, being assertive, really going for something you want. King of Wands, he has to be uh, bold and assertive. He really has to, and he also really nurtures something into existence. So I feel it would be a great time for you to do that. With the Ace of Swords, you have the world. The world is an accomplishment. So there's clearly a big victory coming in for you as well. Uh, this is an amazing reading for you, Virgo. I feel that there is just a lot of good stuff coming in for you and a lot of success. So let's see. Uh, you have the spear card that says heartache over what you no longer have. Uh, I feel the eight of cups. A lot of people are feeling this. It's more the energy of the way things used to be. I think a lot of people are going to feel this energy. I'm just warning you right now <laughs> over the next few years. But we need the second we let go of that and look for a better way to do things, not only will we discover a better way, but we will also just feel better in general. So I keep telling people to like, be careful of getting stuck in convention, which is just the way things used to be. You have this camel card. It says persevere and you will overcome your problem. So if you are having any problems, this says that you will overcome it. You have this wall. It says misunderstandings. I would, you know, I would really keep things to yourself right now is more the energy that I get with these cards because I feel that you could say something to people about your ideas or something you want to accomplish or whatever, and people just don't understand it. And, you know, again, I always tell people, I don't necessarily agree with the whole, like a lot of people say, don't share your goals, right? I don't necessarily agree with it. I think that it's better to share it with people who support your goals, of course. But again, if you have people that are going to hate on your goals or your ideas, then I would clearly, I would be very careful of that. That's what I get there. You have this grasshopper. It says situation in the balance that requires careful handling. Again, you are carrying this new flame. You need to you need to take care of it, nurture it. You need to uh, put more wood on the, the fire, right? And so you have this idea that is only a spark that elephant is carrying. And I feel that you need to kind of nurture this idea. So that's what I get there. You have this pale card that says time to get out of a situation. I feel like there's something that you're just not like 100% satisfied with in your life. And I don't think we'll ever be 100% satisfied in life. But you know, if there's something that is just not 
doing it for you here, Virgo, I would definitely get out of that situation. Yeah, you have a Spokane card that says compliments from an admirer. I do feel like there's love around you, but I really don't see this as a love reading. Again, that does not mean that you won't have love. But what I would say is if you want love, I would get out of the house. I feel for a lot of you, you are more focused on this uh, transformation and more focused on your abundance. It's a pretty simple reading. There's no reason to overcomplicate it. So I feel like a major change is going to lead to a flood of abundance, just like that unlocking card said. But thank you for being here. Really appreciate it. And definitely enjoy your week.